Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to lecture 20 of AAA, which is review of interim financial information. Now, in my previous lecture, lecture 19, I must have touched upon some specific assignments, right? Non audit services other than audit other services. So there I've talked about around uh, four to five specific assignments. I told that in the next few lecture we'll be discussing in depth those specific assignment. So from lecture 20 to 24, we'll be talking about those specific assignments. Okay, uh, lecture 20 to 23, I'm sorry. We have forensic audit, we have review of interim financial information, then we have prospective financial information, and we have due diligence. So these are the four specific assignment other than audit of uh, historical financial statements that we are going to discuss. So we are starting with the first specific assignment that is review of interim financial information. A very short lecture and not a very difficult one. Okay, not a very challenging topic. And uh, let me tell you that most of the challenging topics in AAA are covered from lecture 1 to 19. They are more challenging. Now the following lecture from lecture 20 to 26 are what, what would I say? They're shorter lectures, okay? They are because they are into other audit services, non-audit services. So the procedures, the reports, they are quite easy and they'll be quite shorter than the full audit, okay? But most of the process that you have gone through, whether to accept an engagement, whether to reject an engagement, whether to uh, do risk assessment, materiality assessment are similar to what you have studied in the uh, for audit, okay? When we were auditing financial statement. Now, here we are going to go through review of interim financial information, acceptance considerations. This acceptance consideration we have gone through in so many lectures. Okay, so we, when we are going through acceptance consideration, the ones we have studied before, way, way before, okay, when to uh, like at the initial stage when we were going to start the audit. We have to take those into consideration, for example, audit fee, whether the, the integrity of the management, then professional clearance, then whether the competences, their resources are there, all these things. In addition to that, when we are going through a specific uh, assignment, we are going to take additional uh, consideration also. For example, this is review of interim financial information, right? Some There will be some acceptance consideration which is specific for this so that we are going to take in addition to the general uh, acceptance consideration this same is repeated for the others also whether it is due diligence whether it is fraud investigation is the same everywhere we have acceptance consideration that means whether you're going to accept or reject an engagement even if it's for review okay there also you have to consider it's not just you just go and review just because it is less intense than audit no you still have to go through the same acceptance consideration that you have gone through when you were hired as an external auditor for financial statement. Now, planning and performing engagement. Same how we have planned and performed audit with some differences, of course, because this is review of interim financial information, not full financial information. So here we are going to go through this three. Definition and purpose of review, acceptance consideration and procedures. Audit procedures we have for everything. We have went through audit procedures for specific elements. If you can re recall, intangible assets, tangible assets, financial instruments, tax, interest, bank loan, purchase, sales, right? Same for review. So with that understanding, okay, we can quickly finish this also because most of the 70 to 80% of the understanding that is required, you already have from the previous lecture. That's a good thing. We are going to build up on that. This one and the remaining lectures. So interim means it's a short, okay? Financial year is shorter than the annual year. Annual year is usually, right, 12 months. Anything shorter than that 12 months is known as interim, okay? So here, companies may choose or they are required to report, to have this report reviewed by the company's auditor. That means interim financial information, okay? They can have make a report on it after they have reviewed. And what is the objective of review? The objective is, okay, 
to review internal financial information okay so that auditors can express a conclusion whether on their basis the review that means whether anything has come to their attention tell me what kind of language is this anything has come to our attention that causes us to believe interim financial information is not prepared in all material respect in accordance with applicable financial reporting framework it's a negative negative conclusion we have positive that is reasonable assurance and here it is limited assurance negative conclusion right because i have as i told you for specific assignment for assignments other than audit of financial statements we have limited or no assurance but this is limited assurance it's a negative conclusion okay so same we have to go through this the older thing is you have to write the word review in term financial information acceptance consideration the next so here assurance provider whoever is giving the assurance needs to have a very good understanding of the company okay it's not just you hire anyone from outside and they come and give the conclusion on interim financial information no you can't even if it's shorter period of time work is less less intense than full audit still they should have a good understanding of the company okay an external auditor okay who do you think is the best person to give this external auditor external audit is the best person to give this review of interim financial information why because they have the greatest understanding of the entity while they were auditing they already have accumulated that knowledge of the entity so that can help them to give review as well without uh, hiring someone else from outside who might take much longer time to have an understanding of the company right that's why if a company approaches a different firm to provide this service the firm should consider reasons for this for example if you are being hired by a company you have to see why the external audit is not uh, giving that service because external audit is in the best position okay he have a good understanding of the company so if he is not giving that service then you have to question why not why am i being uh, hired to do this job right for your acceptance consideration this is one thing you have to see why whether the external auditor is giving that service or not if they are not you have to question then third engagement is likely to be a recurring engagement see review when you are giving a review on interim financial information this is a recurring recurring means it always keeps happening it's not one time one time engagement that's why engagement fee also you have to see you have to consider the engagement fee okay so three acceptance consideration good understanding of the company is required that's why external auditor is a better person if you don't have an understanding let external auditor do it okay if they are not doing ask reasons for it then because it's a recurring engagement fee dependency okay now planning and perform, uh, performing the engagement see these are the main principles of review engagement from engagement to engagement there are principles if it's a fraud investigation it has different principles if it's a due diligence it has different principles this is review for review principle is number one you need to comply with and most of the uh, good thing is most of the principles are more or less common it does not matter what type of engagement is it it's review or agreed upon procedure or due diligence or uh, forensic audit most of the time principle is same that is comply with ethical requirements number two quality has to be there appropriate quality procedure then consider whether the engagement should be accepted that means whether the practitioner has enough resource and competence to give that review engagement also plan and perform the review with a professional skepticism you should always have a questioning mind when you are reviewing procedure so when you proceed uh, the procedures are identify the type of potential material misstatement this we have done for audit of financial statement same we have to do here identify types of material potential misstatement and the likelihood of them occurring when you're reviewing also you have to keep in mind the impact of material misstatement what are the likelihood of it and in which area material misstatement is most likely to happen because those areas you need to perform more procedures when you're reviewing okay giving means checking you are having a check right so these are the ways you inquire relevant parties okay usually management see i told you this is not a full audit procedures also will be less intense compared to full audit okay it will be less procedure so you mostly uh, inquire from 
management or analytical procedure these are the two types of procedure normally carried for all the specific assignments so inquiry relevant part is management analytical procedure there are the review procedure to obtain sufficient appropriate evidence then second compare current financial statement with the prior period okay because if it is something very unusual you will understand through comparison already because there is unlikely to be a very drastic change in any ratio okay changes will be there it might increase it might decrease but not so drastically because if it changes so drastically you have to question why what why it led it to such a you know unusual uh, fluctuations then compare the current financial statements with either the forecast or the budget okay simple procedure okay very simple next review any relationship with the financial statements that would be expected to be confirmed to a predictable pattern in that industry either with the previous pattern of the entity that means previous year or with the industry norm for example gross profit margin then through this ratios you can calculate operating profit margin you have to know the ratios by the way okay ratios are everywhere in triple a you cannot ratios and sbr ratios and triple a ratios are in afm ratios are in a, uh, apm sbl almost all the subjects have ratios so you have to know the formula okay gross profit margin operating profit margin interest cover receivable collection period payable period and inventory holding period okay now detailed procedure okay these are the details this will help you in review okay but see when you are answering procedure if they ask questions in your exam on procedures on review don't give this entire list you have to see the case study you are given to whether it is you have to link accordingly whether it is matching with the case study given to you then you can uh, list right from this list okay this is a guide this is very helpful for you but don't memorize and copy paste this answer in your exam okay so you can read prior year files okay so emphasis more is on the prior year when it's a review because it's interim you don't have to elaborate the record plus it's just a review you cannot do a full audit okay so basically reading prior year files so that you can understand any matter that can affect the current period interim financial information also second any significant risk okay you have to consider for example management might override uh, there is a risk that management might override controls okay that were identified in the audit of the prior year's financial statement for example in the prior year what happened management override the control there was an override of controls even the controls were there in the place still management were able to manipulate it they were able to play around the system of internal control last year so if that was a risk last year you have to see whether this year also it could affect because it's a significant risk if internal control is weak if internal control is weak in the last year chances are this year also it could be if it has not been resolved you have to see whether it was resolved this year or not third reading the most recent annual and comparable prior period interim financial information okay annual reason annual and comparable then consider materiality when you are considering materiality with reference to the framework as it relates to interim financial information so that you understand so that it will help you to decide on the nature and the extent of the procedure that needs to be performed okay we have some more consider the nature of any material misstatement okay and identify uncorrected material immaterial misstatement in the prior year because sometimes what is immaterial in the previous year might be material this year that's why i have to see that okay maybe individually they are immaterial but when you accumulate them together okay it might become material then consider significant financing financial reporting and uh, accounting and reporting matter 
that may be of continuing significance such as significant deficiencies in internal control we have covered this then results of any audit procedure performed with respect to the current year's financial statement even the audit procedure that is performed will help you for reviewing the inter interim financial information because it cannot be too inconsistent right mostly audit procedures the evidence that you have collected auditors have collected needs to be consistent with what you have reviewed they cannot be inconsistent that means either the auditor is wrong or you are wrong okay then consider the results of any internal audit performed even internal auditors information can help you here whether management have taken any actions or not inquire of management about the results of management's assessment of risk that interim financial information may be material misstated as a result of fraud so you need to ask the management whether management have considered all the risk so that you can say financial information is not material misstated because of fraud then again inquire management whether there were any changes in the business activity which can have an effect in the financial statement again inquire so mostly it is analytical proceed inquiry management analytical proceed inquiry management and read financial uh, reason reports and all mostly this three are very uh, what do i say frequent procedure okay so inquire of management again for any significant changes in internal control again inquire management okay good thing is everything is inquiry management wow so inquire of management the process by which internal financial information has been prepared very important you have to see that process how internal financial information is prepared you have to check that also and whether it is the accounting records from which you are taking the information to financial statement whether it is reliable or not okay now finally a written representation you need to get a written representation that confirms management has done this 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 number 1 management it is management's responsibility to prevent and detect fraud and error okay they are responsible for internal control second they have prepared the interim financial information in accordance with applicable financial reporting framework same like financial statement third they believe uncorrected misstatements are immaterial this is similar to audit everything is similar to audit here now we have some more management has disclosed to the auditor this things okay number 1 all significant fact relating to fraud the result of their assessment of risk of material misstatement any known or possible non compliance with laws and any significant subsequent event that require adjustment or disclosure this needs to be disclosed to the auditor by the management okay now let us go through an example of how a report will look like when you are doing a review engagement how the report looks like and we are going to end it with a question so this is an example of a review report okay review report containing unmodified opinion to understand this you need to go back to my auditor's report because that is the starting point auditor's report of an unmodified opinion first go through that okay then in my previous lecture lecture 19 i showed how in assurance report what would be the heading what would each paragraph contained those all things are explained so here we are only going to focus on some few paragraphs which is relevant for review so you need to come back through two lectures one auditor's report then lecture 19 that is previous lecture and then the, then you need to come to this report okay because the wordings are similar so this is a heading title has to be there that is a report on review of interim financial information address has to be there and introduction has to be there this is common for any report auditor's report scope of review okay this was not there for auditors okay scope of audit then conclusion so here if you see the wordings okay we have reviewed the balance sheet of so so company okay it has income statement it has changes in equity it has uh, cash flow and accounting policies for 3 month because it's interim it has to be less than 12 months the wordings are same 
the only thing is is for three months and we have reviewed this paragraph is same okay that management is responsible for preparing and our responsibility to express a conclusion okay management's responsibility and our responsibility the practitioner and the management's responsibility okay then scope of review okay so which standard you have used when you are reviewing that you have to mention here that is isre 2410 that is review of interim financial information okay so we have conducted a review according to the standard okay when you are reviewing the interim financial information you have to write the procedure that you went through for example you were inquiring you were uh, making inquiries of those persons who are responsible for preparing okay then analytical procedure and other review procedure those three okay so if you if you see you have to write this wording also because this is not an auditor's report okay so when you are doing other audit services i mean non audit services you have to write this paragraph this is not only for review even for other things also due diligence later on you will see review is substantially less in scope than an audit okay audit is conducted according to what international standard on auditing this is conducted according to isre international standard on review engagement okay so consequently does not enable us to obtain assurance that we would become all sentient matter that have been identified in audit accordingly we do not express an audit opinion they do not express an audit opinion this you will see in others also any engagement you will see this review engagement due diligence engagement agreed upon procedure for audit investigation uh, all those things later on you will see and conclusion what would be the conc conclusion based on our review nothing has come to our attention it's a negative limited assurance i told you negative conclusion right we believe that financial statement does not give it to any favor it does not come to any attention okay so all these wordings are same just as a three month period then signature of auditor date and address that's it test your understanding one describe the procedure that should be performed when reviewing interim financial statement okay for five marks so any five procedure you can give from this list i have copy pasted it here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so out of this eight any five okay so we'll quickly go through this if you see one you will see which is very common is compare either with the previous year with the forecast or with industry okay calculate key ratios this is a part of analytical procedure okay again you compare then you enquire of management enquire of management review the audit file okay written representation and consider the nature of uncorrected material misstatement corrected material misstatement so we'll explain each this okay first one is compare with whom with prior year this year's information with the prior year information okay that is one second one key ratios what are key ratios for interim key ratios are receivable collection period payment period inventory holding period also you can write interest cover all those things gross profit margin operating profit margin that also you can write okay so when you calculate c you just cannot write calculate key ratios then do what with those ratios calculate key ratios and compare with the last audited financial statement compare those ratios calculated in the previous year then discuss the significant difference you will see so this is over this is over okay third accounting policies also you need to compare for example you have to see accounting policies that you are using in the interim is the same as that you have used in the audited financial statement they need to be consistent then enquire management regarding significant control deficiencies because it can affect the reliability of the figure that you are using for interim financial statement then review the audit file so that you can identify any subsequent event because even subsequent event can have an impact on your interim financial information 
then inquire management about what any significant changes to the entity okay then consider the nature of any material misstatement and also uncorrected immaterial misstatement in the prior year so mostly it, it has to do with the prior year because in the prior year you have a full financial statement plus it was audited that's why it's always wise save to compare it with the previous that's why we always say compare with previous year compare with previous because last year it was audited okay that's why because if you see last year you will see whether there are any similar misstatement this year or not then written representation from management confirming what management's responsibility to for internal financial information and they have disclosed any irregularities to the auditors one they prepare for internal they prepare internal financial information they design internal control two and the third that they have to write in the written representation is they have disclosed any thing any significant information to the auditor okay so that's it so that said we have covered review now we are going to summarize we have discussed with purpose purpose is first definition definition is it's a period shorter than a financial year second purpose is to give a conclusion what type of conclusion limited conclusion limited uh, assurance or you can say negative conclusion the wordings will be nothing has come to our attention that causes us to believe that financial information is not prepared fi stands for financial information by the way i've used the short form financial information is not prepared in all material respect with financial reporting framework acceptance consideration okay reasons why auditor did not review okay second competence whether you have the competent to review third ethical threads fourth resources are there and integrity of the management then the procedure inquiry of management do analytical procedure like compare ratios calculate ratios and written representation these are the three common procedure so that's it for this see you in the next lecture next lecture is going to be another specific assignment like review only so there also we are going to follow the same format what is the purpose of it acceptance consideration and the procedure see you in the next lecture and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and i shall see you in the next lecture